Invitational. It took place at Arlington, Virginia. 50 laps of a one kilometer circuit, Paul. This is a Criterium Riders delight. It certainly is. It's a completely flat course. And I tell you what, the most important part of the course, I have to say, I think, is the corners. But the women kept it pretty much together in the early part of the stage. However, halfway through the race, they started to see a move moving forward. Yes, with plenty of corners to crack up the long line of the peloton. In the end, two women got clear of the field. Laura Van Gilder, a two-time winner, and she rides here for Cheerwine team. And also with her was Rebecca Larson of the Orange Corporate Furnishing Team. Once they got clear and settled in, the teams were blocking behind. They moved clear of the field. She's 32 years of age now, Laura Van Gilder. She has won this race twice before. On the way, she's won 100 races in the USA. And she was second in line when the sprint started. But I think, Paul, Rebecca Larson went a little bit too soon. A little bit too soon. It's an awful long way from the final corner. But you have to judge a sprint to perfection. And you can see she did just that, coming right out of the slipstream to get herself the win. So, looking at the replay here, she timed it to perfection. Laura Van Gilder getting, uh, becoming indeed the first three-time winner of the series as she wins ahead of Rebecca Larson and Sarah Uhl. Let's talk with her. We came out here and we really wanted a victory and um, we didn't know quite sure how we were going to go about it, but I do like a breakaway on this course and I'm sure Rebecca Larson was aware of that, so we just made it hard from the get-go. It was a little longer than I anticipated, but my team did a good job back behind me and to get another podium spot is just awesome. So following the women were the men and some big riders here from the Pro Tour Team CSC also looking to continue their winning ways, especially with JJ Haido, who's taking time out of Europe, where he struck five times already this year to come back and try and win in the men's CSC Invitational. They were backing everything on to them and getting across the line in first place, and CSC used an awful lot of energy to keep the main field together. But of course, let's not forget four former winners of this race, Ivan Dominguez and Mark McCormack, were also trying to look for a win. Well, there's plenty of action here, but the men try to keep it together. There was a long breakaway by Victor Ripinski, who almost left the field, but it didn't work out that way. And once he was swept up, it was down to a field sprint, and all eyes were watching for JJ Haido and his enormous finishing punch. But it wasn't to be. A surprise was on the way, because a former champion of criteriums as a junior and elite, it was Rashin Bahati who got the biggest win of his career. Getting in there just ahead of Ivan Stefic, and JJ Haido by the way he was shut out of it he only crossed the line in sixth place Hilton Clark of Australia was third besides winning nationals this is the biggest win I've ever had so I'm excited man